Hey guys and girls, this is Snowy here and welcome to part 4 of Boomtown here in City Skylines. Oh yeah, Boomtown, yes. So in the previous episode I decided to use a little bit of this uh, uh, edge of the map area to create this little uh, oil area to create some revenue for the city because um, I do not have that much of industries DLC planned in this city. So, you know, just for the revenue th part of things, I decided to uh, actually do it. And so, yeah, I created uh, this little oil industry over here. Now, um, I walked away from the, from the computer for, for just a, a short moment. And uh, I let the game run for a little bit. And what I also did was I added already some infrastructure here and put down here a metro train monorail yeah com yeah combination um, for the future currently it's not active as you can see but uh, yeah leaving the computer running for a while uh, did really give me a lot of uh, extra cash money moolah so that's very nice and um, so the idea is uh, now to because we have like a huge demand for commercial uh, medium demand for industrial it's like mm, okay what we are going to do is make sure that the industrial area will also produce goods that are like very um, flexible so you can how, how can I explain this for example let's say if this ground would be fertile yeah let's assume and I would zone it and I would give it the farmers district into here uh, no uh, here sorry oh here and I will give it the farmers industry then basically it will create crops that that is sort of it would you place the same area on an oil area let's say there's oil in the ground and you put like a district on it and you give it a farmers uh, industry then that area will not create crops but it will create all things related to farm farming products so that's a double thing actually now uh, let me have a look first uh, here uh, let me delete this uh, this little uh, little zone over here district over here can you go away please thank you yeah and let's have a look here at the resources so we don't have that much resources around here so that's the perfect opportunity to actually in the neighborhood of these areas to put like small amounts of those kind of areas now i'm thinking because we do have this forest over here which makes it a little bit tricky because we have here the industry you can also put it on top by the way instead of down here then it's also more closer to that thing as well i think that's not a bad idea so how will we do it i will show you first of all we turn off this thing you know the tree anarchy because we have trees all over the place again over the the, the roads but i'm not going to bother by it unless i'm seeing it um yeah we take uh, this road and what we are going to do is divide this area into two segments here but also on the other side here for the four leading products that are you know being produced when not sitting on their respective um, um, stuff you know this stuff there is nothing in the ground here so we can create all kinds of materials you know farm related forest related or related and oil related so let me see the distance from here to here is 10 okay 10 it is then from here to here another 10 and then we do another 10 Okay, so we want to divide that into, let's say, two areas. Okay, so let's assume, let's make this a 40. Yeah, a 40 is nice. And then from here, another 40, and another 40. Yeah, here in the middle, we can take a road like that. And then we take a road from here to this middle section, and then to there, and then to there, and then from here to there, there and there perfect shape you know this really works perfect i think we can even extend this we can 10 by 40 and down yeah and here we actually cannot but 
Okay, okay, nothing to do about that. Here we will do the same. We go 10 down. Now we have like four areas and we are going to zone those areas. Okay, let's grab the smallest brush we have, like this one, and select. Okay, here we go. And before I forget it, on the other side I added another 10 here and here, so here we will do the same. And maybe, yeah, I need. Yeah, also to put like there. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to the zoning again. And let's make this area bigger, like that. Yeah, that will be the inner side, and then this area, also. Now what this does, it creates diversity for your commercial area. And the commercial area really likes that, you know, they re really like to receive that kind of products, uh, you know, in the in the shops. I mean, would you not be, you know, living in a city that has like, all, uh, has it all? Not you, that you have to go to the big city to, uh, you know, to get yourself, I don't know, uh, the latest uh, graphics card for your computer or, or a piece of clothing on your shoes or whatever whatnot or even a loaf of bread so here i do this i make it a little bit faster like that so whoa this is fine this is fine this needs oh whoa needs a little bit of attention yep this is looking fine okay now we have all these four districts and now we are going to give them the properties they need. So if we click this again, then we click on industry specialization. Now let's start with the first one, forest. This one. Then farming. This one. We go to the side. Everything ore, ore related will be this one. And everything oil related will be this one. Great. Now... Of course, that also requires us to put some uh, warehouses there. So we, let's see, we plonk down a warehouse here. And we plonk down one, what's the proper distance here? Yep. And we do the same on this side, but this side is a little bit different because of this road here. Uh, okay. Let's pause the game for a hot moment and let's see what we can do about this. Yeah, that would be fine. So this is farming related. So we say here, zone industries, farming products. This is for forestry stuff. So we put something in a forestry stuff in that warehouse. Uh, this is oil related. So we select the oil products and here we are selecting the oil products. Great. Now our demand for industry is pretty low. So what I'm going to do is I'm only placing a few buildings in each of these zones. So let's say one here, one here. Yeah, it sounds a little bit weird, but that's the way how you have to do it uh, because otherwise you have one area that has like all the buildings one area who does not have so that's not the idea right so this intersection uh here we can utilize that for more commercial uh, oh i'm still pause game yeah so we need more uh yeah we need we actually need also a also um a, blah, 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 a university yes i have been thinking about that for ages a university here yeah here in the middle close to this thing there's a metro there so let me have a look at this a uh, university this big building I, li I like this the big building but ooh, you know where can we snug this in and yeah, this is also nicely uh, symmetrical hmm Mm hmm maybe we can do it just on the other side i mean yeah why not why not why not so let's grab and let me see this road and come from here no i don't want that road i just want um, a more simple road like this one yeah from here 
and from there we go to let's say all the way there and all the way there and now I'm wondering if that oh man it does still not fit <laughs> we can fix that road on the back no problem no problem no issues no tissues we just anarchy this in um, yeah we put it like there and then we use the move it mod move it mod to move this thing around a little bit forward and actually here in the back I don't really see an issue uh, to be honest but still it's not nice you know to have like an off ramp like that you know behind your um, university so what I will do is like take this thing and say like okay you just go on the ground the best way is 12 by 12 and this total is like 24 so we add another 12 and then go up again yeah that's more reasonable nice then okay we take this road again make it go up to there and here so we can add a few surfaces and whatnot here and it's a little bit too long this one it's like yeah 11 i thought so. okay so we make it a 10 and go that way yeah okay then we put a let's see a parking lot on this side that side that side that side so in let's see do we have more school stuff need it um so let me see elementary how much of that we have a, we have a, a building here that's orange so probably a lot of people live in there so probably having an ele elementary school here when this one is a little bit too big then we put it on this side or here on this side it's closer by i think yeah that makes them definitely happy the only thing that I want to do is create a pathway and then we will go back to those uh, areas and see what you know what uh, what is happening over there so from here we take on this thing and except you know instead of these ugly bridges I rather go underground like that but then not with five units but with six units so again six units and then go down to minus 12 and everything is fine then you go to the other side and then you go up here and you connect it up to there and see that no issues no tissues go there go there and connect it up to there even connect this up to this roundabout because people are cycling here so they can cycle also directly to the other side because these roundabouts they don't have any crossings whatsoever in fact because this is on the ground i can actually say like you know what you can also go to the other side yeah why not like that and then we page down again ta -ta 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 -ta, to the other side like that we go up here page down again thank you today and from here to here nobody sees it yeah okay let's turn off the guidelines so we can like a proper make a proper connection here and then from here to there and from oh, here to there yeah gives people more options to walk actually great on this junction, by the way, I will implement the no left turn policy. So this lane can only go straight on. And this lane, this lane can only go to the right. And with these lane connectors, I can actually enforce that like that. And I will prohibit people from actually crossing that road. They can use, you know, this thing if they want to. Yeah. Makes sense, right? You have to keep your... Um, um, traffic going on especially playing with despawn mode off so also add uh, parking bans over here because hey ho we have parking lots here not for you know just for show so park your car on the parking lot bunch of lazy apes 
uh, and to get to the other side here uh, okay I see it already what's happening it's like okay yeah okay 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 so this is a uh, 15 so I take a 9 9 and then here we dive down to minus 12 to the other side and then up and then with the node controller which is this thing we create like a crossing here so here they come out toink, and then they go to the other side uh, for some reason on these roads the crossing is not visible which is a pity so I don't know maybe we, we can do something with node controller or maybe something with um, actual the intersection marking tool would that be possible I don't know let me see this is, this is new for me maybe ah okay so it's purely because on this road it's not visible but using this mod actually you can make it visible maybe if I use a filler and I use the alt and I connect this to there to there to there and then to there a uh, sort of semi looks like a <laughs> mm, okay stripes chevron pavement grass gravel grid no solid nope chevron pavement pavement nah stripes is okay but the stripes are not fully straight step 1.5 what is a zero zero mm. angle scroll the wheel to change ah look at that okay but now the width to zero <gasps> one okay I'm, I'm just messing around with this stuff I think this will do and how about the colors what does uh, zebras usually have for colors is it not like sort of a bluish color something something like this I don't know something like this yeah why not you know why not it's it's it's, it's new oh it disappears um, Maybe I had to click OK. Let's try this again. Yeah, that works better. Well, that's nice, you know, having a pedestrian crossing like that. That's kind of interesting. So let me remove these parking uh, things again. Uh, they can walk to the other side. Uh, yeah, without any effect actually. But they can cross here, so yeah, everything is fine. So let's also, you know, build a few shops here. So they have something to snack and to go and to buy and whatnot. Just like that. And here also. Why not? Why not? Why not? And because this is a university, we say also we want a nice office block here. And an office block there. And to top it off, we will create also a nice fence around it. So, a fence. So what kind of fence? We will put around there like an... I think just a standard fence, park fence, I think that would be the best thing. Yeah, I think so. So let's select this, turn this off.
great so we finally have like now a university which is nice and we can no we don't have yet um, office there so this one is already complaining not enough workers yeah that's a common problem around here you know not enough workers but for that i had like uh, this area and we have oh yeah also people here not enough workers not enough workers okay okay yeah i know what to do i pause the game for a hot moment we need this we need this we need these and we need these and here and also here and then on this side i'm going to put like high rise commercial because you know they will accept the noise because the noise you know the noise is far away so no issue no tissues except there is no parking oh there is parking here yeah there is some form of parking here i think that will do okay uh this thing is probably a noisy thing now let me check it out well actually it's okay yeah i have to keep the speed the space around it you know so let's do those this way and that away uh okay let's go on and do this then do this and also here we can do up to that and up to here and also here to there except mm, that probably would work i think yeah i think so okay so uh this has been filled up and let's not forget these guys as well like that now i want these guys to be able to get to the other side you know to this um industry area so what I i'm going to do is make like these foot bridges like i always do you know these uh, foot bridges so page up six to the other side page down then to there then to there and from here page down to there and let me check out this one went a little bit too far so put it back a little bit great uh let's see from here to okay let me turn off this thing a little bit from there to there not ent not entirely in line but we can do something about that Yep, because this is city skylines and you can do everything here. You can just build and destroy. You can recreate it to your own likings, whatever you like. So they can now go walk that way, that distance. Now, since I expect a whole lot of people emerging there, I will place also a few factories extra over here. Here. Also here no that will not work like that like that like that and also here yeah uh yeah the only thing that is now remaining is like a path over here uh, now this is a little bit of a different place okay let's um finagle something first of all we go from there to there uh and then from here to there and then here yeah like we did before we go also move this a little bit to there and this a little bit to there nice uh this seems to be not connecting somehow i am not sure okay let's um let's monkey around a little bit with the move it mod make sure that all this stuff is sort of connecting like that and uh, from there they can just uh, go yeah into that direction and now with the only thing we are doing like put like oh they're already there okay so we let this grow we put uh, the game on full speed and uh, let's see how this area will develop shall we shall we yeah <laughs> Yeah.
you know, one thing that I forgot <laughs> is like in any of these residential zones, if you put residentials there, they will only thrive if you put like um, amusement there. So like, you know, a simple dog park, for example, here, I mean, nothing is even built here, well, you know, because there's no amusement. So one dog park and maybe a Japanese garden, you know, that will already do the trick. Like there, also like there, maybe even there, and maybe even also there one, yep, I think that will do, yeah, to make, yeah, to make the people a little bit more happy, now let's see if we can snug in something here, a little bit of big apartment, no, that's too big, that's too small, too big, too small, that will fit nicely, but I will do it on this side of the road. Can we do it also on the other side? Yeah, we can, like that. And at the same time, we put, put also like a parking lot there. Mm, I also see that the um, demand for um, residential has dropped. It was so big, and now, now it's gone. So let me have a look at this. Um, so we have residential, uh, residentials all over here. The commercials have been filled up pretty well over here. And we can put like some commercials here, which is okay. You know, a little bit of uh, a few stores around the block uh, can never hurt. So let's just do that. Mm, maybe a few here as well. And also a few here not too close to the junctions of course and um, yeah these yellow things are, are being filled up I mean the industrial areas so let's put more one two three four this one is already abandoned so you have to do it again there were not enough workers, so but the workers are on their way because their buildings, their houses just have been built. You know, these guys are on their way. They have just packed, you know, from their hometown and they're en route. And uh, let's see how this whole area now goes further. Now, what speed are we running? Full speed. Great. Here we go again. keep on growing for a while and while that was busy I spotted here a uh, breach of my uh, no left turn policy so I will change that no left turn only go straight on here we go also junction restrictions no crossings here and use the note controller to make this a little bit more wider so the, the bends are less uh, you know tight uh, yeah, so another thing, by the way, um, is that now I have like already six and a half million in the bank, is that there is now room for the Tesla Giga factory, so no more power issues anymore. Question is where I'm going to put it, you would say like here, yeah, you know, that would be sort of a similar thing like here. Let's grab this road and uh, let's build something similar over here. So how far does this go anyway? Seven units? So let's put that also here in the middle, seven units, and then we go 20 to the side. Also here, 20, 20, no, of course it will not allow me. Game, I love you, but it's like sometimes. <laughs> How much did, did I have here, by the way? What is this, 22. Okay, then I will make this also 22. 
22. How much do I have here? 10? Fine. 12 added. Here we go. Okay, let's find that Tesla. And then all our power issues are gone. So the Tesla Gigafactory. Uh, toink over there. Of course it will not go into the middle. Naturally. We have to slide it a little bit like that. And not bad. Now what can we put around the Tesla Gigafactory? Um, maybe another garbage facility how far does the noise stretch the noise stretches only that far only these people can get sick so what i'm going to do is just take this make it go up and skimp it very close to that road and then take this thing again and put it like there now it is far enough away from the you know livable areas but still it can you know collect the, the trash so that's not bad. Here we here we will do the same from there to there. Take this thing. And this thing also delivers stuff to the to the industries. Yeah. Okay, let's grab the parking lots also. Don't know how much they would be required here. And here. And maybe a few let me see low density commercials here here maybe there also there and also there no 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 wait not there go away go away because this is like a uh, recycling center i would say like just a uh, little factory you know why not why not a little factory yeah it's far enough away so that poses no issue yeah okay let's also apply the no left turn policy here, around here so you just carry on to the roundabout this is fine and if you go out you can only turn right like that yes like that like that and like that perfect now the only thing i would say we need a path going from here somewhere Let's see, these are pretty f big buildings, uh, I would not like to demolish them, no, this is a small building, so this, this will be fine. Can I get something from here? Ah, come on, that square, I want to be in that square, this, this square I want to be in, come on. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let's see, we lead it all the way to... Um, here, yeah. And why not go underground again? Because that underground feature makes it sure, you know, that you don't see so much of those ugly. You know, I find them ugly, you know, those pedestrian bridges, to be honest. But these underground passes I find kind of interesting, you know, they are not so bad by the eye. Okay, let's move this stuff a little bit. You and you. A little bit down. Okay, so I have to do the same thing with this thing. Zoop. And this is not six units. Hmm. Okay, let's grab this and then drag this a little bit back. Drag this a little bit forward and then we can drag this a little bit like that. Yeah, I think that will do nicely. And the last thing I'm going to do is going to remove all the parking stuff here. We have parking lots, so you better use them. It's a pity, by the way, that you cannot say like, you know, with these things, like whoever parks there has to pay. You know, even if it's just one Somalian uh, cash uh, thing, then that would be nice. Yeah. Right, so let's see how are we doing. So our residential area is uh, flourishing. Uh, we can even put more residentials here and also here. I think even here, I have no problems with that. Mm, let's keep aware of this. So here's fine. Because they still need the space to, especially this train line, you know, if it dies down, this road has to be removed. Yeah. Also, hopefully it's not too close by. How noisy is this thing anyway? 
It does not say, actually. Okay. Ooh. It appears to be noisy. Well, you know what? We can always help a little bit with the noise by putting a doctor's office in the area. So, like, let's sacrifice the smallest building we can find, which is this. These two. Sorry. And on the other side, we do the same with. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah. With these two. These two, yeah. Plink. Here we go. Nice. Now look at that. I mean, this is running like uh, like super duper, and we have even 49% of uh, zoned oil, and we have 51% zone, zoned ore, and we have only 12% farming, and 74%. Uh, huh, that's that's kind of uh, weird. Oh, we don't have this one. Okay, so oh, oh, it's there. Ah, okay. So maybe I can lure them with a little city park. And with some regular parking. Here also. Yeah, that also will sometimes help. Now look at the money growing. I mean, this city is thriving. Uh, you can say whatever you want, but it is thriving. So, sewage availability. Um, uh, where did I put my sewage stuff anyway? I, d I don't know. Oh, here at the edge of the map. Okay, so we put like... One... Two... Three of those guys there. We select them all. And we align them. Control H with this one. And we connect them up. And they can just you know, poop away. So that's fixed. And this problem is high school related. Okay, so where do we need a high school? Uh, I don't want to use this big one. It's too big. Do we have another type of high school? Yeah, the Phoenix High School. This one. So let me see. Oh yeah, we need that of course in these, re these regions. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, let me sacrifice that building, it's fine. And then here, we sacrifice this building, also fine. And we grab this elementary school. We will be placing that over there. I think they like it. And here, the elementary school, well, just there. Yeah, I think we've come a long way already uh, since our last episode. So... You know, um, after building the oil, oil um, money-making thing over there, which still yields us, a, let's see, a nice profit every every month, every week. But that's, that that kind of thing thing keeps the city afloat. So I'm pretty happy with that. And with that note said, I think in the next episode, I'm not sure yet what to do because yeah, the the, the main thing I want to do is just build a large city. But build in such a way that it is, you know, reachable, that you can get there, and but yeah, with lots of buildings. But you know, you look at this shape, you know, you see like roundabouts every corner or whatever, every block. But that's something you know, I, I don't want. I mean, you don't see that in big cities either, so that's something I have to work with to kind of avoid a little bit. So, yeah. Okay guys, I would say like thank you for watching this episode 4. If you have any tips or suggestions, uh, feel free to let them come. And um, I hope to see you soon uh, again in episode, uh, episode 5. Okay guys, thank you for watching and until next time. See you. Bye bye.